What's going on, guys? Quest guy, take home the new AMD's best value high-end graphics card for four hundred and ninety dollars at Amazon.com. The RX seven hundred XT gets stronger reviews and is capable of strengthening to four K gaming and just a fourteen forty P card. Wow. So look, seven hundred XT is the king of fourteen forty P. It's beating the Nvidia's forty seventy. And a 47 Ti. So this is a great value for just $490. $10 off the original price point. That is $500. It might be a good choice if you want to pay for the P and just start off with 4K gaming. Um, Sapphire right now, RX 1700 XT Pulse 16 gigabytes card has dropped to a new low price at Amazon US, where it's available for just $490. That's a solid $30 below its new list price. And great margin for the capable current gen GPU for a 1080p or 1440p gaming with 16 gigabytes of frame buffer memory. Wow, thirty dollars difference. I thought it was just five hundred dollars, but clearly this is five hundred nineteen dollars. Five five nineteen ninety nine. Thirty dollars off will make it four hundred ninety dollars. So it's that that's a steal to be honest. Um, we've covered the RS 1700 XT graphics card several times in RPS as it offers some of the best value in AMD's RDNA 3 graphics lineup. The latest discount improves its price performance ratio uh, considerably. The card is best used for 1440p gaming where it can price well, where it can run, uh, you know, how they really be. It can run anything, you know. Or anything, RT content reasonable frame rates with or without upscaling or frame generation. While a 1080p is capable of high fresh rate gaming when paired with a stronger CPU. Wait, what? While a 1080p is capable of high refresh rate gaming with a pair with a strong CPU. So you get a strong CPU and dominate in 1080p. That's crazy. I never thought of that. It's a, and they, the thing about it, the strong, the, wait, the new generation C CPUs would not bottleneck this graphics card at all, because it's, it's RDNA 3, just, it came out deep last year, and it's a mid, it's like, better than the 4070 and 47 Ti, basically. So, therefore, no bottlenecking with these current GPUs, uh, or the CPUs with the uh, i13 or the Ryzen 9, it won't bottleneck at all. You can also switch to a 4K display when using upscaling in older games, make it quite an adaptable option overall, especially when the 16 gigabyte of VRAM also allows it to um, deal with less but um, well optimized games, of course, from PS5 and text like video production. So if I make some of the best MV cards going, and their post models are straightforward but well built with good performance. This is a dual fans, dual slide uh, model too, so it fits in many more cases than physically larger triple slots or triple fan models that are commonly, you know, in the upper reach of AMD's or Nvidia lineup. So, if y'all ask me, four hundred ninety dollars, thirty dollars off of fighting. I said fighting. I mean, forty nine dollars from five hundred nineteen ninety nine, thirty dollars off. The best fourteen forty p graphics card from AMD, and better than Nvidia's fourteen forty p gaming cards with sixteen gigabytes of VRAM for just four ninety on US Amazon. Yes. Amazon US basically just Amazon.com. Just go top me Amazon.com and get this card right now. Like get wh what are you waiting for? Just get the card. I ain't gonna aim for this sit here and talk. Get the card. It's the best card. 1440p. Come on, 4K and 1080p. 1080p, I'm gonna be talking about pairing with the best CPU out here, man. Get the card, man. Thirty dollars off, that's a steal. Thank me later.